Now, if you are looking for a functional two beta in the beauty world area with a potential first mover's advantage that will hit its TOP at the end of 2022, then stick on with us because there is so much transformation going around this area and we are so excited to share with you. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome all of you to Dane Tree Residence. Now let us orientate ourselves on the location of Daintree Residence. So we are a 10 minutes walk away from Beauty World MRT Station. And located in District 21, we are also flanked between Toh Tuck Road as well as Toh E Drive. And for the amenities surrounding Daintree Residence, within the one-click range, we have Bukit Timah Primary School, Pei Hua Presbyterian Primary School. And within the two-click range, you are within Methodist Girls School as well. We are also closely located to Nian Poly as well as SIM Global. Now for your shopping centres, you have Beauty World Centre, which is a huge, giant supermarket right over there. You have also Bukit Timah Centre. And I think being so close to this beauty world area, you have a plethora of food choices along the stretch of El Aza restaurants as well as a lot of Chinese skewers for your enjoyment. And once the integrated development is up, you have even more commercial shops over there as well as F&B options. And we find that there is so much growth for this area. Super duper exciting. Now this 99 years project was developed by Sertia Group and they have portfolios in multiple countries such as Australia as well as the UK. Now I think when assessing a developer, it's very important to see what are some kind of the past projects that they have built. The historical transactions for Eco Sanctuary is on an upwards movement. Now, if we were to pull up the design concept, the entire facade of Daintree Residence actually creates a stunning composition that is technically cutting edge and yet naturally elegant at the same time. 327 exclusive apartments, 182 two beders, which forms the bulk of this project, 114 three beders, nine four beder units. Now, let's say you want a configuration that is of a two bed as well as a two bath layout, which is typically easier to exit as well as rent out. Now, the first kind of floor plan is when all the bedrooms are actually tucked onto one side. You have the master bedroom as well as your common bedroom side by side. Now, due to the configuration of this floor it also only allows an open concept kitchen as you can see right along the entranceway. And for the next kind of floor plans will be your dumbbell layout types whereby each of your bedrooms are actually located on one side helping you conserve on the space. For each of these floor plan types, the sizes differ by about 20 to 30 square feet. Now this can be attributed to a larger master bedroom size as well as an extra walkout balcony from your master bedroom. If you do not need an extra balcony from your master bedroom and you wish to keep your quantum low, then you can easily save on the 20 to 30 square feet. So if you would like a functional kind of floor plan with each of the bedrooms tucked into one corner, and definitely go for this kind of dumbbell layout and this is the unit that we have for you today. Now we want to study this floor plan very closely so let's pull up some motion graphics and this can only be made possible because of motion graphics. So let's go straight into this floor plan. Now from a macro perspective, each of the bedrooms are actually located at one corner and therefore it eliminates the need for a walkway. Now stepping into the door on your left hand side would be a kitchen. It's currently fitted in an L-shaped manner and it's also possible to enclose the kitchen should you prefer a closed kitchen concept. And right in front of you will be your stove setup and to your right you will be your sink for washing. Now stepping out of the kitchen, your marble flooring extends all the way into your dining room as well as your living room. Now you have a dedicated dining space which allows for a nice four-seater table perfect for your small family. And if you turn on your right side, this will be your common bathroom for your guests to use. Now this common bathroom comes fitted with one shower mixer set completed with one overhead shower. And if you were to exit your common bedroom and walk further into your living room, if you were to turn right, this will be your first common bedroom. And for the first common bedroom, your built-in cabinetry have already been installed. If you were to look out at your windows, you have almost floor to ceiling windows. Windows all come with aluminum frames, extremely high in quality. So exiting out from your common bedroom, you have your living room, you can easily put a two-seater couch as well as mount your TV directly on top and you still have a sizable space and distance right in front of your TV. Now stepping out would be your walkout balcony. You can also consider doing zip tracks to protect you from some of the western sun exposure. And if you were to head back into the unit and look on the right side, that would be our master bedroom. Your master bedroom will come with your very own ensuite bathroom whereby all your sanitary fittings have already been installed. Cabinetry has also been tucked towards the corner of the room. You can fit up to a king size bed right over here in your master bedroom as well as space for one side table. Now we find that this kind of setup and size is very suitable for a modern family of two or if you have a child, that's perfectly fine as well. And this will be great from an investment perspective because you are 20 to 30 square feet smaller as compared to the other kinds of bedroom types and therefore allowing you to enter at a much lower price as compared to your competitors.
Now this unit that we have for you today is a high floor unit that is located in Stack 58. If you pull up the entire site plan, you will realize that you get several different facings for two bases. Some of the projects face towards High Oak Condo, which is one of the first projects that was built over here. The other two bed unit types faces towards Lauren Kismis, whereby you have a slip road. Now if you want this kind of dumbbell layout, then you are only looking at Stack 57 as well as Stack 58. Now Stack 57 is an inward facing stack, whereas Stack 58, we are facing towards the Creek and Bukit, which is also another low rise project. Uh, and since we are located on the high floor, you potentially get a very good beautiful view. I think that the facilities provided by Daintree Residence is extremely great. Full-fledged condominium facilities. You have your tennis courts, your barbecue pits, gym, your aqua gym, steam room, two swimming pools, one 50 meters long lap pool, and another infinity pool. And you find that the facilities to residence ratio is just nice. So firstly, Beauty World MRT is going to be an integrated transport hub. And in total, there will be 700 units of condo residences, 150 service apartments, 20,000 square meters of commercial shops, restaurants, and offices, and an air-conditioned integrated bus interchange known as the integrated transport hub. Now there will also be an underground link which will connect seamlessly to the existing Beauty World MRT station. URA envisions Beauty World to be the next green urban village which will be a center of community life and Southern Gateway into Bukit Timah's nature attractions. Now a joint venture between FICE organization as well as Sinoland won the highest bid at over $1 billion. This makes use development which is a combination of commercial as well as residential use definitely command a slight premium. Now if we were to expect a profit margin of about 20-30% for the developers then you can expect the launch price to be around 2000 to 2002 PSF. After this new launch condo is actually bought and sold to the first round of buyers, these buyers will typically look at exiting around 2005 to 2006 PSF. This creates a margin of safety from the current asking price of 2000 PSF and therefore we feel that there is so much room for this Daintree residents to appreciate. And I think what is even more exciting will be the launch of Bukit Timah Link government land sales site. Now that is already slated for launch during August 2022. This is another residential government land sales site. Gross port ratio is 3.0 and therefore you can expect high tower buildings. These new launch projects will actually set new benchmark PSF prices and therefore help surrounding resale projects inch up their pricing upwards. Now speaking about pricing, we have really helped you to break down the resale prices as well as the new launch prices right around this area. So for resale projects, there's Terrain, triple nine years leasehold projects. Currently, there's only one unit available, slightly over 1,000 square feet, asking price of 1.85 million. Next, you have the Creek at Bukit, which is a freehold project, 657 square feet to 753 square feet, 1.23 to 1.42 million. You also have High Oak Condo, which is one of the first projects around this area. Also 99 years in lease, 1,000 to 1,173 square feet, 1.3 to 1.45 million. And if you were to compare to surrounding new launch project, view at Kismis, which will TOP around 2023, 99 years project, 592 square feet to 700 square feet, 1.3 to 1.435 million. For Red, which will TOP around 2024, freehold project, 689 square feet to 947 square feet, 1.6 odd million to 1.8 over million. And lastly, we have for you day three residences right here, which is a 99 years project, size is about 678 square feet, and an asking price of 1.4 million negotiable. Now, if you're interested to know more about this sub unit, then do feel free to give our listing managers a call. Their contact details can be found right below here. Now, thank you all so much for loving Property Lim Brothers channel. Feel free to subscribe to our Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, as well as our TikTok. Now, my name is Bingyu, Property Lim Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. Take care, and I'll see you guys really, really soon. Cheers. Hello. How are you doing? Still okay, yeah? What? Saiful. Haven't died, oh. Still okay, right? Okay. I just need three more hours, bear with me. Just three more. You have also Bukatima Center, which is home to the best duck rice. I ate this duck rice for about six years. When I was in uh, Nian Poly, then I went to army. And then every time I go there, right, he will call me Lao Pan. So if you want to be called Lao Pan every single time uh, you order your duck rice, then definitely day three residence is perfect for you. <laughs> wow, suddenly the, the ending different. <laughs> jam ready, brain jam. <laughs>